friends as part of this session let us understand about clone method of our object class okay clone method of our object class what is that clone method of our object class it throws an exception checked exception which is that clone not supported exception getting let it be okay now why we have to go for this clone method simple thing if you want to perform backup or if you want to create a duplicate data that is if you want to create a backup you have to go for clone method for which you want to do duplicate or to which you want to take backup for object data getting think that you are having one object getting i equals to double nine j equals to minus nine like that let it be underlying object is what a for this if you want to take the backup that is you want to create a duplicate object containing data as what well, double line j equals to minus nine then you have to go for what clone method and this way of taking backup or creating a duplicate object for the original object is called as what mm, cloning process okay this is called as what cloning process what is cloning the process of process of creating creating a backup or a duplicate object getting or a duplicate object is called as cloning is called as cloning getting getting cloning but here you are having two types of cloning getting we are having two types of cloning one is shallow cloning other one is deep cloning observe here we are having two types of cloning getting two types of cloning first one is what shallow cloning getting other one is a deep cloning okay observe here what is this shallow cloning let us discuss okay what is this shallow cloning let us understand with one example okay let me take shallow cloning first okay so here here shallow cloning means simple observe here shallow cloning okay think that you are having one user defined object okay observe here if i give the pictorial representation then it is very simple to we guys to write the code okay observe here if i'm having an object if i'm having an object getting let it be underlying object is what capital a getting and this object is containing one data i mean one variable that is primitive variable let it be that variable is int j equals to minus nine or else just nine okay just nine okay and it is also containing one more object that is user defined object and that object is base object think that base object or else leave it the names it is containing one more object okay so observe here let it be b and its type is what base so it is it is having one object here it seems somewhat clumsy okay so what i am going to do here is or else let it be okay let it be here itself let it be this b that is b object is having one data member as what double nine getting it is having the data member that is variable value as what mm. it is having the variable as what double nine okay and this object is a object let it be okay a object this this outer circle represents what a object and inner circle represents what base object getting base object its type is what a and this can be called as container getting container only right it is containing some other user defined object so uh, this is called as what hmm, sorry this outer object is called as container object and this inner object can be called as contained object okay 
this can be called as what contained object getting guys observe here contained object this is what container object okay container object containing other object called as base base and this contain object name is what base object okay now observe here how to develop the skeleton that is class for this particular thing okay particular thing okay we'll develop that term skeleton first let us see what is this shallow cloning okay now now observe here okay if i create the duplicate if i create the duplicate for this uh, container object okay if i create the duplicate for container object what happens first uh, first let me do one thing here this pictorial representation seems somewhat clumsy right so let me let me write that one in in different uh, style observe here this is what a object okay this is what uh, a object okay now having a variable called int j getting that is 9 and it is having user defined data type and that one is referring another object now this b is referring this base object having data as what double 9 okay so this is one object this is also one object they will have different addresses at memory getting they will have different address right so let it be 0x0001 let it be 0x0002 and this and let it be it's having an hash code let it be 1133 let it be 1144 okay this approximate integer value is what mm, hash code this approximate integer value is what hash code okay now <coughs> this address or uh, this hash code approximate hexadecimal string is what mm, string value is what a reference value now this entire thing is having the reference value as what 9f and this entire thing is having the reference value as what 93f and that 93f only you are copying to b getting so let it be 93f and this this 9f only you are copying to a that's why this a is referring this object okay observe here that's why this a is referring this object now tell me one thing this is what container object right yes it is containing some other object to make this pictorial representation easier i wrote that one here okay and this one is what contained object getting contained object now observe here observe here if i create if i create the duplicate object uh, to these uh, to these uh, container object if i create duplicate object to container object getting what happens means uh, in terms of shallow cloning okay you are discussing shallow cloning if i create the duplicate or if i create a backup for this uh, container object what happens observe here okay let me write the pictorial representation first okay let me write the pictorial representation first okay observe this part okay pictorial representation let it be let it be a now i'm creating dupl i mean backup backup means what there will be uh, a duplicate object so different object this also will be as what a different object okay let it be int j equals to 9 getting int j equals to 9 now observe here base b equals to here a no i mean a new object will not create for base instead instead this original object only will be used for contained object meaning is what this base b within this class called a will have the value as what still 93 f only this value will get different friends 
this value will get deeper let it be 3 3 f and here a new variable a1 it is referring this one means what it is having this object value getting so this is what new object for the container uh, container but no new object for the container getting so still this object is referring this uh, old contained object only for container new object has been created this is what our shallow cloning getting if you perform cloning for the container object this is what our container object right yes this is what our container this is what our contained getting so if i create a duplicate object for this contained internally this is very important so new object will be created for outer that is container object but not for the contained object but not for the contained this contained object will be used within even at duplicate object also getting backup or the duplicate getting mister how can you prove this one yes we can prove that one getting internally the process of storage will be very different getting up so here with one small code we can prove this one up so here okay let me take the code okay let us take class class base okay having a variable as what just think about this particular object base object having one instance variable int i equals to double nine okay int i equals to double nine okay now take class class a okay now in order to perform cloning okay in order to perform cloning you have to do one small thing that is you want to implement implements clonable interface you're getting so observe here observe here i will tell later okay i'll go for this one later so now take one data variable as what int j equals to 9 and take base b also now take a public static void main string ox now this according to our pictorial representation uh, if i create if i create a a equals to new a what happens at memory hmm what happens at memory observe here observe here what happens at memory there will be an object for a class having data for i that is j for 9 and base b value will be as what null base b value will be as what null now i want to initialize this contained object or reference value with base object okay observe here now this entire representation tells us as what this a is referring this one right now create an object of type what base create an object of what type base in time equals to double nine and now this one will be having a reference let it be double i mean nine three yeah this value i have to assign to this b so this representation we are going to achieve getting so how to do that one first create the base object new base okay so this one has been created okay this one has been created now assign this value to b how to access b directly we can yeah i mean we can write b no you cannot write you have to access through a a dot b that is the perfect Thing, okay you cannot go directly through step by step only you have to access why because b is the member within this object a and that one is getting referred by small a okay observe so a dot b getting so this representation we have gotten getting base is referring this one and its value will be as what 93 f the exact representation we have gotten now observe here i am going to perform and this represents what container object this represents what contained contained object okay now i'm going to perform cloning cloning observe here if i do cloning if i take backup the same piece of code i want to write 
if you write the i mean if you do cloning the same piece of code you have to do so to avoid to avoid the burden on the programmer sun microsystem has given implementation in one method what is that method means clone method available within the object class and you cannot use directly clone method for a particular object like this observe here a dot clone getting a dot clone getting here if you use like this getting if you use like this you have to intimate to jvm that is i am using a clone method which is having implementation for creating duplicate object getting so it has to create an object it has to do some other operations for which object for a object for a object observe here in class called object i mean in the class called object you are having what protected object clone method which is having implementation to create backup object getting having implementation to create backup object okay so to use that method implementation exactly we are having one rule what is that means this class must be implementation class for clonable interface getting must be ah uh, must be what is that it must and should be implementation class for clonable interface so you have to put here implements uh, getting implements clonable uh, interface it's a rule guys okay it's a rule you are using this uh, object class method implementation so here they have given one rule to us hello mr to use this method implementation to create a duplicate object you have to intimate to jvm through implementation class so this class must implements clonable interface here clone method written type is what object but the underlying object will be of which type ah, it is a type so perform type casting to a getting a and assign that to a variable getting a variable so now this is what a duplicate object this one has been created observe here let it be a one the value is what into j equals to nine now still base b referring this old object only it's referring that old object only observe it is still referring that old object only mister can you prove this one means a simple thing simple observe here if it is if it is new object getting what i'm doing here think that you're having a base object getting think that imagine this is what base instead of this one it is having this one okay here int j int i variable is what double nine so now this is duplicate right duplicate object right just in real you are not going to do but to understand that one i will do one small thing up to here now even dot j value i'm changing to changing to three six getting and i'm going to check i mean change even dot b dot i value as as what is that three six six three getting three six six three getting now now if i if i if i access strictly strictly we i mean to prove this one to prove this one thing that it is not happening here okay it is what still double line only okay observe still double line only friends okay still double line a1 dot b dot i according to us backup means uh, how it should happen there should be even backup for this one but this process is doing this backup okay this clone method is doing such type of backup okay so according to us here the value should get changed as what three six six three but observe here observe here this will go and modify this value if i write the code observe here what is that code means if i wrote if i write a1 dot j equals to 3 6 and if i write a1 dot b dot i equals to 3 6 6 3 so this thing will not happen 
this thing will not happen guys okay if this one is happening means uh, if this one that is uh, because of this code getting because of this instruction getting because of this instruction there is a change at this imaginary object think that this object has been created okay and according to us this object will not get create okay if this value is changing means uh, getting if this value is changing means uh, if i access sop of a1 dot j getting or else a dot j a dot j getting a dot j means what original object this represents original this represents duplicate getting now a dot j other one is what a dot b dot j must be as what ah this a dot j value must be as what guys ah 9 and a dot b dot j must be as what double line only still observe because of this statement this is a small trick understand okay a1 dot b dot i value if i change and think that because of our process if this object is creating okay here the modification should get changed actual to according to our hmm, imagination but according to this clone method that is shallow cloning what is happening this change will not happen within the imaginary or within the contained object this change will happen within the original object only getting that is shallow cloning okay so this is what our first scenario right getting but we are ha i mean here you are having two scenarios if this object is not created means uh, what where the change will happen hmm, i said that this object will not get created so b dot uh, b dot i if i change this value getting if i change here the value as what 3663 three. now if i access that variable value here that value should be as what 3663 six, only getting think that this is our first scenario answer 9 and double 9 okay think that first scenario is what an imaginary object has been created because of this uh, uh, because of this instruction you are changing the value within this object only you are changing the value within this object if you get the output as 9 double 9 then what is the meaning you are accessing on a you are accessing on a a a not a1 so meaning is what duplicate object also created for contained object okay we are proving shallow cloning means what for contained object no duplicate object getting so this is the first scenario and for the second scenario if we get the output as 9 and 3663 no it's not observe yeah if you get a dot j 9 and a dot 3663 means what is that duplicate object not created for contained object so this one not created getting so you will get 93663 so if you get this one it proves that shallow cloning okay if you get this output it disproves the shallow cloning but according to the shallow cloning this must be there okay if we get this output what is that this output it shows that we have analyzed and we have understood shallow cloning perfectly observe here what is that let me repeat this one once again okay shallow cloning means what if you create a duplicate object for contained object okay so there will be a duplicate object only for container object but not for the contained object okay so this duplicate object having what one of the contained object reference this will still refer the original contained object only getting still it will refer this original contained object okay so to prove that one we have written one small piece of code okay so i have taken one base class having a data value as what that is a variable as what i 
so here i have taken one class called a which is having variable j and that is value is what 9 and we are having a, a contained object variable getting what is that b okay so i created an object what is that a a equals to new a getting so because of this one this thing has been created only this object has been created now i want to create a contained object and contained object must get hmm, must get ref i mean this container object reference must be within this uh, uh, contained object variable b so what we have to do i have to access this variable uh, this variable and i have to assign this object reference getting observe observe friends okay so what we have to do create a base object and then assign this value to a dot b getting now perform cloning by using clone method getting so if you perform cloning if i perform cloning if someone is performing cloning whomever it may be who is performing duplicate who is performing backup the code will be same getting so so why we have to take much complexity to write our own code to perform duplicate so instead of that instead of that object class that is sun microsystem has given some implementation to create duplicate object that logic implementation available within the object class clone method okay to use this method implementation for a particular object to create a duplicate getting what you have to do you have to put implements clonable this is the information to the jvm so at run time this object will have some other extra behaviors okay extra features to use okay so now here what we have done i have created the duplicate object only for the container object getting and here to prove whether duplicate object created for observe observe this point carefully okay for contained object i am using uh, these two statements tricky statements observe here think that first case if duplicate object created for hmm, contained object think that duplicate object created for the contained object and second scenario is what duplicate object not created for contained object okay nothing here to remember just try to understand these pictorial representations first one is what duplicate object created for contained object other one is what for duplicate object not contained for the i mean not created for contained object okay now go and change the duplicate object values a1 dot j what is a1 dot j i am changing this value to 3 6 done till here no doubts i hope okay now a1 dot b dot j observe a1 dot b dot j a1 dot b dot not i sorry a1 dot b dot i okay a1 dot b dot i if duplicate object created for contained object then here the value will be getting modified getting and in this case in this case if i access a dot j and a dot b dot j what will be the value observe here in this case still this one is not happened okay forget about this one okay we are at first scenario only okay now a dot j what is that 9 a dot b dot j a dot b dot sorry a dot b dot i getting this is a dot b dot i getting observe guys i'm sorry okay i have written that one as j a dot b dot i okay what is that a dot b dot i so the value will be as what double nine it shows that duplicate object created for uh even for the i mean contained object which disproves the shallow cloning getting shallow cloning but what we have discussed uh, duplicate object will not create for contained object so a duplicate object to container will still refer this original contained object. 
So, getting so if we if we write this statement a1 dot a1 dot j of course here only the value will get changed and a1 dot b dot i observe here if this one is still referring the original contained object means where the change will happen mm, observe here a dot b dot i a i mean yes sorry a1 dot b dot i a1 dot b dot i this one not created second scenario we are going for second scenario a1 dot b dot i here the modifications will be done 3 6 6 3 getting and now if i access a dot j a dot b dot i if i get the value as for a dot j 9 and for a dot b dot i if i get 3663 3, it proves that shallow cloning meaning still whatever the changes i do by using duplicate container object reference if that get impact within the original contained object it shows what mm, shallow cloning i hope you understand this one okay so if you get this output okay if you get this output it proves that we have understood what shallow cloning getting guys shallow cloning okay very important okay most of the guys will be getting confused here okay take this imaginary condition take two scenarios okay and definitely they will last cut interviews okay now let me put this piece of code and let me compile and execute okay so you should get the output as what this output so if you get this output we have understood shallow cloning at any cost you will not get this output it is just to hmm, it is just to make understand okay so you should get nine three double six three okay absolute let me compile and execute this piece of code okay absolute So let me take a class called let me take the let me take the class called a okay and let's take a class called base with data member as what in i equals to double nine now take a data member within the class called a as what j with data as what 9 and take base b here okay now create what an object for the class a now now here create create base object okay base object and assign this reference to a dot b okay now till here no doubts i hope okay now other one is what now perform cloning for a object okay and here this class i mean this clone method throws checked exception guys okay throws let me put the parent class name itself okay now observe here this clone method within the object okay it throws checked exception okay so let me even delegate that one okay throws throwable no issues okay now observe okay so so throws throwable okay now a dot clone so it will return in terms of object okay let me perform type casting okay now to use this clone method implementation you have to intimate to jvm by using uh, implements uh, clonable interface okay now perform some changes to the original object a dot i equals to what mm sorry for the duplicate object a1 dot j equals to what is that assign the value as what 3 6 okay and assign the value for a1 dot b dot i as what 3 6 6 3 okay now now observe here within a single fraction of second you have to do we have to do analysis for both the scenarios and you have to get the output okay up to here a dot b dot i i'm accessing the original object data up to here once again up to please okay so think that because of this clone method if there is a duplicate object for the contained object okay and because of this instruction there will be the change at this uh, 
imaginary that is contained object and in this case you will get the output here as what a this is what a1 a1 dot b dot i you are assigning 3663 to this object variable getting this is what our imagination getting think that think that duplicate object for the contained one also okay now if that is the case you will get 999 if you are accessing original object data double nine okay still this one not yet happen okay not yet happen okay now if that is the case you will get this one okay it shows that shallow cloning not happen now if 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 there is if there is no imaginary that is contained object if there is a duplicate object i mean if there is no duplicate object i am sorry there is no duplicate object this container, this container variable within the contained object referring the original object this is what our second scenario right second scenario getting and if that is the case because of this method and here a1 dot j this only will get vary and a1 dot b dot i up to here a1 dot b dot i i am discussing about second scenario so here the value will get change as what 3663 getting if that is the case and if i access original object data a dot j a dot b dot i you will get 9363 if this one if this object itself not created yes shallow cloning is happened because of this object class clone method we can prove that one that only we are proving so you will get the output as 9663 here observe this one carefully okay now let me let me write that particular statement yes i have done that one okay a1 dot j a1 dot b dot i equal to 3663 now i am accessing what a dot j a dot b dot i okay now observe let me compile this piece of code and execute okay what is the source file name here test it is what test now let me put test dot test dot java compile successfully now let me run the main method class name what is the main method class name here it is capital a okay now put java space a okay nine three double six three observe here what is our code here hmm i changed the what through duplicate container object reference i am going to the contained object here it is going to the observe here it is going to which object contained original object but not for the uh, no container contained duplicate object created so this is what our shallow cloning getting so you get the output as what 93663 okay this is what our shallow cloning if you are not getting please try to repeat once or twice you will understand this one very simply okay